What if I told you that a simple pattern of breath could rewire your brain faster than any pill, faster than years of therapy, faster even than meditation itself? What if I told you this technique was so powerful that neuroscientists today are both fascinated and unsettled by its effects? This is not a new discovery. In fact, it's at least 5,000 years old, hidden in Tibetan monasteries and passed down from master to disciple. But in 2024, a team at Stanford University, including Dr. Andrew Huberman, confirmed what ancient practitioners already knew. A very specific breathing sequence can boost BDNF, the brain's miracle growth factor, by up to 300% more than ordinary meditation. This means your neurons grow new connections, trauma patterns dissolve, and your brain essentially upgrades itself. In this video, we'll explore why this method remained secret for centuries, what modern neuroscience has discovered about it, and how you can practice it yourself. Stay with me until the end, because you'll learn not just how this breathwork works, but how to apply it daily to rewire your brain in as little as three weeks. Before we begin, make sure to subscribe to the Mental Dose channel and join our Telegram community, where you'll get early access to new videos and insights on personal and spiritual growth. Now let's get started. In 2024, Stanford neuroscientists revealed something that shook the field. Breathwork was already known to influence stress, calmness and focus, but the discovery that a 5,000-year-old Tibetan breathing protocol could triple BDNF production was groundbreaking. BDNF, or brain-derived neurotrophic factor, is like fertilizer for the brain. It stimulates the growth of new neurons, strengthens synaptic connections, and helps erase the imprint of past trauma. Low BDNF keeps people locked in patterns of anxiety, chronic stress, and even physical pain. Boosting it, however, opens the door to faster learning, emotional resilience and healing. What startled researchers most was not just the increase, but the speed. In just minutes, this breathing method initiated changes in the nervous system that usually take months of meditation practice to achieve. Some neuroscientists admitted they were uneasy about the potential. Because if breath alone could remodel consciousness so quickly, it raised questions about how deeply and permanently the brain could be rewired. For Tibetan monks, breath was never just about oxygen. It was the bridge between body and mind, the lever that allowed them to control what science calls the autonomic nervous system. The monks discovered that while most bodily functions are automatic, heartbeat, digestion, hormones, breath is the one you can consciously control. And if you control it in precise ways, you can access systems that normally operate beneath awareness. This specific practice was guarded carefully for centuries. Monks understood its power, the ability to clear trauma, sharpen awareness, and even induce altered states of consciousness. It wasn't just a relaxation tool, it was a method to awaken latent human potential. They saw it as sacred technology, meant for disciplined practitioners who could handle the responsibility that came with it. Now, modern neuroscience is rediscovering the same truth. Breath is not simply a biological function. It's a coding language for your nervous system. And when you breathe in specific patterns, you can literally write new programs into your brain. The method is called the 5 of 5 5 protocol, and it works because it precisely balances oxygen and carbon dioxide in your bloodstream while activating the vagus nerve the superhighway between your brain and your body. Here's how it works. Inhale through the nose for five seconds, pressing the tongue lightly against the roof of your mouth. Hold for five seconds, allowing oxygen to flood your system and CO2 to rise just enough to trigger neurochemical change. Then exhale gently for five seconds through the mouth, releasing tension and activating your parasympathetic nervous system. That's one round. Five, five, five. What happens during those moments is profound. Oxygen saturation shifts. Your heart rate begins to synchronize with your breath, 
and the vagus nerve sends a message to every organ. We are safe, we can heal, we can grow. With each cycle, BDNF release accelerates, neural plasticity increases, and the brain begins writing new circuitry. After three rounds, people feel tingling in the fingers, warmth in the chest, or clarity in the mind. After 10 rounds, brain waves shift into the same theta state monks access after decades of meditation. This is not imagination. It is measurable, repeatable, and now validated in laboratory settings. Why is this protocol so effective? Most people chronically overbreathe, which disrupts the oxygen CO2 balance and keeps the nervous system stuck in fight or flight mode. The 555 sequence corrects this instantly. By balancing gases in the blood, it calms the sympathetic system and awakens the parasympathetic, resetting your stress response. As this happens, chronic pain circuits can dissolve. Neuroscience has shown that much of what we call chronic pain is not structural, but neurological. The brain has learned to signal pain even when there is no ongoing injury. When you perform the 555 breath, these circuits are interrupted, allowing new patterns of comfort to form. People report headaches vanishing, neck and shoulder tension melting away, even long-standing back pain easing after weeks of practice. But it doesn't stop there. The boost in BDNF and neuroplasticity also rewires patterns of thought. Negative loops, background anxiety, constant inner chatter begin to fade. Decision-making sharpens, sleep deepens, and because the vagus nerve links brain to body, benefits spread across digestion, immunity, and energy regulation. This is why neuroscientists describe it as hitting the reset button on the brain and body. It's not just relaxation, it's rewiring at the cellular level. Before we continue, if this video is giving you a new perspective, consider sharing it with someone who might benefit from it. And if you'd like to support the creation of content that bridges ancient wisdom with modern science, you can click the thanks button below. It truly makes a difference. Now let's move forward. The real power of the 555 protocol emerges with consistency. Practiced twice daily for just two days, it improves sleep and reduces stress reactivity. After a week, focus increases, clarity improves, and many people find headaches and tension fading. After three weeks, just 10 minutes a day, the brain has formed new pathways. Old stress responses are overwritten, chronic pain patterns are interrupted, and your neurological foundation has shifted. This isn't theory. Executives under pressure, veterans coping with trauma, and professionals in midlife who believed cognitive decline was inevitable are reporting dramatic improvements. One man eliminated chronic headaches he'd suffered for 15 years in a single week. Another dissolved shoulder pain from an old injury in two. The stories echo the same truth. Pain and stress are often neural programs, and breath is the code that rewrites them. So here's the challenge. Try the 555 protocol twice daily for seven days morning and evening, 10 minutes total, then return and share your results. Did your mind quiet? Did your body release pain? Did your sleep deepen? Most people notice changes in under 48 hours. Some experience transformation after the very first session. The Tibetan masters knew this breath could awaken human potential. Neuroscience has now validated their wisdom. The question is, will you practice it? or simply consume the information and move on. Your brain will rewire if you give it the right inputs. The 555 protocol is one of the most powerful inputs ever discovered. It's free, it's simple, and it works. The choice is yours. The 555 protocol is not just another breathing exercise. It is ancient knowledge now proven by modern science that can literally rewire your brain and transform your life in weeks but it only works if you practice it. Try it for yourself. Then come back and tell me in the comments what shifted for you, whether it was your focus, your sleep, or even the release of pain you thought was permanent. I read every comment because your story matters. 
And if you want more insights like this, where ancient wisdom meets cutting-edge science, make sure you subscribe to Mental Dose. This is just the beginning.